Hello, Bernadette from Grand Prairie, Bernie's Creations. Okay, today I am working on um, something, uh, an experiment. And what I'm doing is I've got four canvases, four four inch canvases. And what I'm going to try to do is I'm hoping to be able to use them um, as coasters, but I am going to, this is also a test because I'm doing a, uh, a paint pour session. And uh, so what I did was I got a whole bunch of, uh, I went online and found a whole bunch of different planets to uh, take and, and uh, people who are going to be in the group or that gathering can choose between uh, all of the different planets that I have found uh, and then choose the colors. And I've got suggested colors. That doesn't necessarily mean they have to stay with those colors, but what I have opted for mine, my little experiment, I was actually torn between doing Earth and doing Space and the Milky Way. But I thought, do you know what? My original was to go with the Earth, so that's what I'm going to do. So I am going to be using, um, my, my base color is black. So I am, oh, before we get going any further, uh, my base color is black. I'm also going to be using white. This is cashmere tan, uh, sky blue, Pacific blue, uh, phthalo green, leaf green, and metallic gold. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm also going to be adding some silicone oil to uh, three of the colors. I'm going to drop one, two, and then every other color. So one, two, one, two, and then I have to mix it a little bit. And I'm hoping to be able to do this part of the video in 15 minutes. Because I'm actually going to be doing several little videos um, as I go. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take my black and I am going to, and, and I always forget whether or not the, I do believe that the black is supposed to be thinner than the rest. I've got the black actually is the same. Um, the reason being is because if it's thicker, then the thinner colors roll over it and then you end up having these great big clumps of the thicker colors. So well, I'm going to actually put four puddles. just in the corner and then I am going to um, actually I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually kind of move it around I don't want it to well, because what I want to do with the other colors I need it to be able to move a little bit because I'm going to do um, ribbons. I think that's what they're called. I'm still very new at this, so I'm not sure what all of the... pores are called yet. I do know that I want this over the edge. I might need to add some more. Some paper towel.
I'm hoping to be able to use leave some negative space too. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to be possible with uh, with what I'm going to be doing, but I'm going to try. Gonna try and get this to be real quick. Lots of paper towels. the bubbles because there are some bubbles in here. Okay. All right, so I'm going to set my book aside with my earth on it. Okay, and then I'm going to, I'm actually going to do, I think I'm going to, do some rings. my cashmere tan sky blue Pacific blue, my phalo. I think that's how it's spelled. Thalo, P H T H A L O. I hope I'm pronouncing it properly. My Thalo Green. A little couple of little drops on the inside. my the leaf green i and i was contemplating using lime green but opted to go with the uh muted more muted oh, oh, oh. don't know where that came from Uh, the more muted uh, um, leaf green. Okay, now I'm just going to put the gold. Uh, do I want to put it on the outside or do I want it because the gold actually, because it's on the outside, will end up being taken off first. So I'm going to put it, actually I'm going to go like this. And like that. Okay. Now. Let's 
stick it to this corner. Take it back to the center. Take it to this corner. And I don't actually want to, uh, I mean, I want it to go over the edge, but not completely yet. Take it back to the center. And then to this corner. And then back to the center. Oh, I have a bubble. I have a bubble. To that center and then to this corner okay now I can now I'm going to torch it again to uh, get some of these bubbles out and hopefully pull up some of the uh, effects from the silicone oil. Nope, still too much paint. So I'm going to have to, I, though I don't want to, uh, I really don't want to uh, lose my, uh, my negative space black. It looks like I'm going to. Back a little bit more again. And one of the things that I can always do if I want to get keep the uh, negative space. Sorry, my arm is in your way of being able to see what's going on. I can always add a little bit of black on the uh, the corners or within the painting. Paintings, coasters. Okay, let's torch it again and see if we get any, see if it still have too much paint on. Okay, well, some of it is I'm getting some right there. So I think what I'm going to do is turn this around and
caught it. Okay, so I'm going to take a picture of this as it is wet. And the next in the next video, I'm going to separate them and uh, um, work with them separately. Because uh, I need to be able to uh, wipe the edges. And I can't wipe the edges on the center with it being together. So uh, this will conclude this video. Um, I'll just pull you down and show you. Ugh. Pull you down and show you what the what it looks like right now. I'm gonna torch it one more time um, and see if any of the cells come out. This is the first time. I think this is the first time where I've done it and that is I haven't had no cells. So I'm not sure if it's because I still have too much paint on or if I didn't put enough uh, silicone in. Because this is the first time that I have, well, well, I might still tilt it a little bit more. But right now, I'm going to stop this, and uh, I'll see you in a few minutes.